Okay. So the last verse, actually, I'm going to read from uh, this book. Here. Okay. It says that many words lead to exhaustion. Uh, it is better to center on the true essence within. So here, the, the proper sense would be saying, uh, as I was reading the Chinese characters and going through uh, Google translation, um, I think it, it makes more sense when we say that excessiveness uh, is fast track to failure. So it is better to practice moderation and especially uh, excessive words. So uh, when it comes to excessive words, we need to do more moderation. So I'm going to talk about the, the downside of using excessive words at two levels, at the country level or the government level, and then our personal level. Uh, personal level, you know, talking so many words mean too much talking uh, or gossiping. Now, excessive words at the level of country uh, would be bureaucracy, uh, too many burdensome and co uh, confusing and complex rules, laws, and regulation, uh, which leads to uh, the people to create or a need of loopholes. Um, and not they're only complex, in order to enforce them, uh, everyone needs to follow every little spec uh, speculation. So it becomes when you're doing that, everything, every process becomes very slow and in, inefficient um, and nothing gets done. So now at the personal level, um, at the personal interaction, uh, I would say lose lips sink uh, ships. So people who can't seem to uh, keep quiet basically guarantee their own doom. Um, so to me, this verse makes sense on both levels, at the personal level and at the uh, government level. Excessive talking over too many complex rules lead to failure. And so the line second suggests that it is better to hold down to center uh, balance, moderation, uh, the true essence that is within us, uh, or he's calling it void. And so void uh, doesn't mean a void. Uh, it, means say, uh, to, it, it means say what is necessary and then come to a natural stop, stopping point. That, that is thou. Um, center yourself you are uh, far less efficient when your mind is scattered in all direction. So draw comfort from silence. Uh, the less you talk, the more you understand. Stillness is where creativity and solutions to problems are found. So again, here I would remind everyone to use your uh, three treasures when you feel overwhelmed. Uh, focus on your gait and bring yourself to right path, the path of moderation. And so now I will uh, paraphrase the uh, verse again in, um, in different words. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to go back and read the last line from the last verse first. So it says that this is Tao. It's function without fuss, without noise, and the wonders never cease. People, on the other hand, tend to waste words and achieve little. Uh, it would be better to emulate Tao. It would be uh, and hold on to the principles. We too can accomplish everything without fuss and without noise. Now, the challenge I would uh, give to all that, you know, when you are, uh, try, try to have a conversation with someone um, where you're actually listening to them more than talking. Uh, that is another challenge and try to revert back to and put them in the uh, center of, uh, uh, of the conversation. 
that is a challenge we can do and learn from this little portion here. For a long time, I thought the truth meant only words, but it doesn't. Some truths are communicated in silence. You have to figure it out when to use words and when to use silence because the absolute truth is silent. Ramdas.